Over here, stranger. Welcome back, Joseph Kendo here. Today on the gun bench, we have the TMP, the compact 9mm machine pistol that stands out as one of the rapid fire weapons in Resident Evil 4. It's most known for its fully automatic function and placement within its own unique weapon class. To many, the TMP is essential to one's weapon collection, and their playthrough experience wouldn't be complete without it. Now that we have it in our hands, let's take a closer look into its background and inspect the different components that make up this renowned weapon. In Resident Evil 4, the TMP is introduced to us early on in the game. It becomes available right after our first encounter with the merchant. Upon viewing the first weapons for sale, the TMP stands out to be rather futuristic when compared to the antiquated shotgun and rifle. Luckily for Leon, it's the cheapest gun for sale, sold at the price of 10,000 pesetas, and it occupies less space inside the attaché case, making it a very popular choice for beginning players. Once obtained, the TMP's description reads, A fully automatic machine pistol fires custom 9mm. This is a reference to the Jacko custom 9mm ammunition found in-game, although it simply goes by TMP ammo in the menus. In-game, its model is simply based on the real-life weapon, known as the Steyr TMP, which stands for Tactical Machine Pistol. The TMP had a very short production in the late 90s, but soon after, in 2001, the design was purchased by Brueger and Thoman and redesigned as the MP9, which stands for Machine Pistol 9mm. The TMP from Resident Evil 4 carries over features from both of these weapons. To start off, its upper receiver is built from the Steyr TMP, which follows into the TMP's threaded muzzle, while the lower receiver follows the form of the BNT MP9, more specifically the version featuring an integrated rail, which is utilized by a laser grip attachment identified as the Wilcox Night Stalker Power Grip. But this is where outside inspiration ends. As usual, Capcom altered a few cosmetic features themselves, such as the grip texturing, removable side rails, and adding a red luminescent front sight. In use, the TMP is fired from the hip, which often results in bullets landing at the waistline, mostly useful to slow down Ganados, whereas headshots require the user to drag the laser upward, which can be really frustrating. The solution? to purchase the TMP stock from the merchant, sold at a bargain price of 4,000 pesetas. When examined, its description reads, A stock for the 9mm fully auto TMP absorbs and spreads out 80% of the recoil forces for increased shooting stability and comfort. This stock is modeled after the real-life fixed stock for the Steyr TMP, which attaches at the bottom of the grip and at the back end of the gun. Once attached, it enables the ability to shoulder the TMP, to increase its accuracy and help land those critical headshots. As far as the other performance upgrades go, the TMP magazine capacity can increase from a 30 round to a 250 round magazine. But to max out the TMP's performance, one must purchase the final exclusive upgrade, which increases the firepower beyond the weapon's threshold to 1.8. With the extended magazine, fixed stock attached, and the exclusive upgrade, the TMP no longer feels like a beginner weapon and it becomes the most suitable weapon for numerous combat scenarios. But don't get too carried away, or you may find yourself shooting through all of your Jackal 9mm, making it a difficult task to top off its rather lengthy 250 round magazine. What you may not have known is that there was another attachment plan for the TMP. If you have access to the early trial version of Resident Evil 4, there is a secret silencer attachment that can be found in the game through the developer debug feature. It was designed to fit right over the threaded barrel, which effectively eliminates muzzle flash and alters the sound of its shots. We can also note that the trial version's model is most accurate to the real-life weapon, which would seem to be the earlier TMP model before Capcom added their cosmetic alterations, such as the grip texturing and panels for removable side rails. Aside from its role in Leon's survival, other unusable models of the TMP can be found around the world of Resident Evil 4. If you have a keen eye, you can spot these additional TMPs in areas associated with the merchant, as it would seem to be one of his best-selling products. These low-poly models feature several inaccuracies to the TMP's design, such as the strange model with the wood furniture to the entire rack of SPPs. But this is nothing unusual from the many other oddities of Resident Evil 4. 
After completing Resident Evil 4, the Mercenaries mode returns along with our favorite Umbrella Security Service agent, Hunk, making his first reappearance since 1998. Once again, he enters the operation lightly equipped with nothing more than his own custom TMP and a couple grenades. This isn't a bad option either, since this means there will only be TMP ammo to scavenge, and his custom variant performs well in both close and long distance engagements. Unlike the three other mercenaries, he doesn't bring a knife to the battle, but who really needs one when you have hundreds of bullets to break open boxes and lethal hand-to-hand -hand combat skills? If we take a look inside his inventory, we can examine Hunk's TMP under the name of Custom TMP. Its description reads, a compact tactical machine pistol that fires 9mm rounds. This custom version features the folding stock of the BNT MP9, along with an extended front guard, which fits onto the rail of the lower frame. This extended guard envelops the front of the receiver all the way up to the end of the barrel, complete with side rails, an integrated foregrip, and a hand stop positioned in front. The rail on the right side is equipped with a laser aiming system, identified as the Morovision D-Ball I, activated by a pressure pad that has been wired to the grip. This extended front guard would seem to be a custom design from Capcom, completely unique to its appearance in Resident Evil 4. Oddly enough, aside from hunks, this custom front guard is seen on the TMP Krauser uses during his final battle, but in all honesty, we wish this inconsistency was completely scrapped altogether. Further down the line, the TMP's appearance would extend past Resident Evil 4, two years later with the release of the Umbrella Chronicles. In the fourth Survivor chapter, we get a chance to play as Hunk once again, returning with the TMP as his weapon of choice. However, they somehow forgot to include the signature features which made his gun special. This really makes us scratch our heads for a moment, knowing that they went out of their way to design a custom variant specifically for him but missed the opportunity to outfit Hunk with his personal TMP. It's such a shame to see a unique Resident Evil custom gun get treated with such disrespect. Even though Leon showed up to his mission under-equipped, it's weapons like the TMP which gave him the tactical edge over hordes of Ganados. From beginning to end, the TMP has had its place reserved in our attaché cases, never to be sold back to the merchant. While it comes in as one of the weakest weapons in the game, the TMP's rapid fire kept players well suited for the fast-paced combat of Resident Evil 4. And no matter what skill level, the TMP was there to make us all feel like a true action hero. For this video, we wanted to spotlight this custom airsoft build by Warhouse on Instagram who built a replica of Hunk's custom TMP using the upper receiver of the KSC TMP combined with the lower frame of a KSC MP9. For the custom front guard, he contacted a 3D modeler, then had it printed to fit right onto the front of the gun, complete with a D-ball style laser device attached to the right side rail. This one-of-a-kind custom loadout serves to be an accurate model to the custom TMP in game and an excellent prompt to cosplay as Hunk himself. So, that's it for the TMP, the compact yet well-equipped machine pistol of Resident Evil 4. Be sure to check out the Kendo Gun Shop Instagram page at kendo.gunshop. If you'd like to help the Kendo Gun Shop expand its business past Raccoon City, share the video with your friends to help spread the word, or feel free to leave us a tip over at our Patreon, link in the description. Make sure to leave us a comment on what guns from the series you'd like to see a video on next, and don't forget to come back and visit us at the gun shop for more content about the firearms of Resident Evil.